Let me show you how to use QR codes to track attendance on Google Forms. Follow me to my desktop to show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a QR code that we're going to use on the Google Forms attendance form. Now, I'm on my Google Forms dashboard, and if you are not located there, maybe you're on Gmail, Google Drive. Well, what we're going to do is click on the Google Apps section here. We're going to scroll down here, and on the bottom, we're going to find this purple icon that says Forms. That will take you to this section where we are going to create our forms. Now, there is no template available as of this video for an attendance form, but in this case, we are going to create one from blank, okay? So let's go ahead and create a blank form. And in this case, let's give our form a title. So we're gonna say attendance form, here we go. We can go ahead and give this a description or just jump down here to the questions, okay? Now, the first thing we want to ask is for basic details before we jump into if they're going to attend or not, okay? So in this case, we're gonna change the multiple choice into a short answer. In this case, we're going to ask for their name. Here we go. Let's go ahead and add another one. And in this case, we're going to add another short answer here. So it's going to be, for example, their phone number. Another one will be for the email. And we're going to change this to short answer again. And the next one is going to be a multiple choice. So we're going to ask if they are going to attend the meeting, the session, whatever you want to use this for. So in this case, let me go ahead and type in the question. So in this case, what I'm going to ask is, will they be attending the session on the 25th, okay? And the option one will be yes, no, and we'll add maybe there. Okay, here we go. So the attendance form is ready. In this case, it's just a demo a form that I've just created. And what we need to do now is head on over to publish. We are going to click on publish. We're gonna go back into publish here, and we are going to copy the responder link. So let's go ahead and copy this. There we go. We're going to shorten the URL. Let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, the first thing I would recommend is that you test this in incognito mode just to make sure that everything is okay and make sure that the form is live. Okay, here we go. The form is live. So let's go ahead and now grab that link that we've just copied and we are going to generate the QR code. Now, as of now or as of this video, the QR code generator is not available directly in Google Forms. For that, we're going to use a third party service. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to create it with QR code monkey, but you can use other services that are available to you. So in this case, to create it in QR code monkey, we are going to change this URL to the URL that we just created on Google Forms. Now we're able to do several steps here, like changing the colors, for example, for the QR code, or we can keep it black if we like. We can change colors, background colors, add logo to the image. We can customize the design right here to change the type of QR code. So those are just options that you're going to get here on QR code monkey. But if we're good to go, we are going to create the QR code and it's going to update with the new code. Okay. So now this code is available for us to scan with a phone. So it's super easy to track attendance with the QR code, right? So we're now able to download this, uh, add it to our flyers, add it to any place that someone might, might scan the, the QR code and we are good to go. Now, once that happens, we are now able to track the attendance here on Google Forms. So let me go ahead and fill this form out twice so I show you the results. Okay, here we go. I've just filled out the form twice just for testing purposes. And we now have two responses that we can track with this attendance form. So let's jump into responses. Let's go and find out the responses. Here's a summary of the responses that we've got. So in this case, it was filled out twice. So we have two names available here, phone numbers, emails, and a chart that's really quick to view here of the percentage of the people attending and not attending. So that's one of the ways to view it. We also have the questions here that we're asking to find all the response and responses by individual responses on this form. So I'm able, to, I'm able to view response one, response two individually, all right? And then we're also able to view a table of those responses in link to sheets. So let's head on over to link to sheets. Here we go. We now have a Google Sheets available to us from the attendance form that we've just created. So now that everyone that is going to fill this out will be added to this Google Sheets available here. So in this case, we have two responses. We have a timestamp, the name, the phone number, the email, and will they attend or not? And we're able to use all the features available to us in Google Sheets. So it's a really quick way to track your attendance with Google Forms and a QR code. Now that is one of the ways that we can do this. Another way would be to use a different platform. In this case, I want to show you JotForm that has several available templates for us to use, ready to go, or we can create from scratch. So let's head on over there.
All right, so this is my job form dashboard, and we are now able to create a form from scratch from a template, and we're also able to generate our QR code directly in job form. We don't have to use a third party platform to generate that QR code, right? So let's get started with the job form so you can decide what you want to use Google Forms or job form, right? So in this case, let me show you the templates first. So let's head on over to the template section form templates. And in this section, we are going to search for attendance and we'll be able to find several available templates available here. So in this search, we found 58 results for attendance. Now we can go ahead and preview these templates before we actually use them. For, for example, this one attendance form, I'm able to preview this. I'm able to test it out. So I'm able to fill it out for testing purposes. And if I like this template, I can go ahead and use it right away or just search through the other attendance templates that I can start using right away. So in this case, let me go ahead and use this one, which is pretty much a basic for attendance. Let's go ahead and use the template. And now that I've selected that one, I'm going to be able to go into the job form builder. So now I'm able to modify this template so I don't have to keep it as it is. I'm able to modify every single aspect of this template right here. So I'm able to change the title. I'm able to change the questions. I'm able to remove them. I'm able to edit them in properties, for example. And this is just one of the uh, available elements here. So I'm able to change the name. For example, if I want to ask for the middle name too, I can do it that way. I can remove, for example, if I don't want to ask for the phone number, I can just go ahead and remove this. I can hit command Z and bring it back. I can add more elements that they have several elements available here on job form. So we're able to use all these available elements for the basic elements, the payment elements and the widgets elements all available here to make our attendance form really stand out, right? And once you're good to go, you filled it out. There's also a form designer to change colors, styles. You can change the theme. You can change the layout to a card form type or keep it as it is in the classic form. So several available options here. Okay. So once you are good to go, you built your attendance form the way you like it. Let's go ahead and publish it now. And we're able to have a link. And there's also the QR code that I've mentioned a little bit earlier. So here it is. We're going to click on the QR code. It's going to be generated via the link and we have it available right here. So now we're able to download the QR code and again, add it to our flyers, to our posters, to our forms for someone to scan. And it's just really easy to generate the QR code here on JotForm. Now, once you're good to go, we are going to make a test fill out of this form to show you the results on job form tables, similar to Google Sheets, but this is job form tables. So let me go ahead and fill this out twice. Here we go. So I filled out the form twice. Let's go ahead on out of here of the preview form and we are going to jump over to job form tables. So over here on the top, this is one of the ways that you can access job form tables and the other one will be in the dashboard, which I'll show you later on. Okay. So let's jump over to tables selected here. And we're going to be able to view all the attendance form fillouts that were made previously. So in this case, I filled it out twice and we have the results right here. Submission date. Can you attend the name, the email, phone number, and a message that we gave them a spot to add a message there. Okay. So again, we have all the features available here on job form tables to modify them, look at them, use the examples, create charts from this job form tables. So for example, I'll create a new tab. And I can create a report here and just view everything as a chart. So I'll select this one, the attendance form. I'm going to use a compact report for this uh, demo, and it's going to create a brand new tab for us to analyze. So now we have the attendance form, which is the job form tables. And we also have the tab where we can view the report. So here we go. We have a quick report here. We can modify the look, the style. We can remove elements that we don't need to preview in the attendance form uh, reports. And we can also create tabs for different situations. For example, we can do an uploads. We can make it in a card style so we can view this on cards and just several ways that we can work with here on job form tables to view the attendance submissions. So it's a really great way to use the platform to have everything in one single place. Now to also access the job form tables, you can go to the main dashboard for the attendance form that we've just created. We're going to click on more and we're going to go into submissions. And again, this will take us to job form tables where we are going to be able to view all the attendance fill out, right? So it's a really great way. You can decide if you want to use Google Forms for your attendance form, or you can decide to use job form. Both are great platforms. Both will give you a lot of flexibility, but at the end of the day, you can decide what you want to use. I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about the QR code to track attendance on Google Forms and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.